You cover a lot of bases when you're learning English. Um, the first would probably be like writing, which is what most people think of when they think of English. Um, you become a much better communicator. You also read a lot. Um, and when you're doing English studies like I'm doing, you read a lot of historical work. Um, and English is all about documenting um, the emotions and um, various assets of time periods. And I think because of that, you learn a lot about humanity um, through reading. Um, in addition to that, you become a really good analytical thinker. You have to really dig a lot deeper into what you're reading to uncover the meanings behind um, a variety of works. So I think in all of those areas you develop skills that you can apply to other areas of your life. What I love about Carnegie Mellon is that it's so easy to take up that additional major and the professors that are here are so willing to help you accommodate things into your schedule. Um, it's really difficult because biology and English are two almost like polar opposite fields in terms of the classes you have to take. There's very little overlap. What I appreciated after coming here is how flexible everyone was willing to be to help me achieve this major. I think my professors here as well are just like so incredible. The classes here are all like seminar based so you get to interact a lot with other students and you know, explore ideas that you would never think about by yourself. My real love for English is sparking this semester with the classes I'm taking. So I'm taking interpretive practices with Professor Straub and I'm taking survey forms and fiction with um, Professor Bernstein. Um, and they're both such incredible classes um, and they're both very different in their own like unique way. So in interpretive practices we're looking at a lot of older work and we're making more cultural connections um, and I think that's the kind of stuff that I really wanted to do as an English studies major. Um, in fiction, I'm doing a lot more writing than I thought I would be doing in the EBA program, which is encouraging. Um, so I'm getting to expand upon um, the different assets of English like I spoke about earlier. I'm hoping to go into biomedical research. Um, I want to do something that involves traveling because I love to travel. Um, and in terms of applying English to those situations, it's definitely important in research to be able to communicate effectively um, and to be able to look at uh, older papers and be able to pull information out of those and use it in a very strategic manner. So I think those skills that I'm developing through the EBA program are going to definitely help me in the future.